What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoewear and welcome back to another episode of Sneak Peek where we preview and recap the top sneaker releases and just kind of major brand info going on right now. So first, thank you guys for stopping by to check us out. Feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like and we would greatly appreciate that. But now let's go ahead and dive into this week's news starting off with Nike. So to recap last week's drops, I actually did hit on the Nike Dunk High Midnight Navy. These are really solid in hand, but you know, after all, it is just kind of another basic Nike Dunk High model. Nike's been pumping those out a ton over these past few years, but you did also have a cool grade like Sakai and Claude LD Waffle release last weekend. No luck on those, but the Nike Dunk High Aged Gray also dropped yesterday on Finish Line and JD Sports, and those look pretty clean if you were able to cop. There was a bunch of errors, but now looking forward to some upcoming drops. We actually have a lot on the menu for this week. So starting off with the Pata and Nike Air Max 1 Monarch, those actually released today. And some of those are coming in like a special box. And then some other people are getting, you know, the more basic Nike Dunk box. So count your blessings if you're someone who, re who received like the less basic version of that shoe. And then the Nike Dunk Low Georgetown was supposed to release today, but Nike has been delaying or kind of pushing back a lot of their releases, it seems like lately. So there is like a Nike Dunk High Lemon Twist is scheduled to release next Wednesday. So we will see if that shoe release sticks. But now we are back again with the Halloween drops. The first one being this orange and black Air Force One. But look close because there are multiple sets of eyes that kind of show up on the upper very faintly. And those pieces glow in the dark. So that's so you can kind of see them pulled out that way. And then a Halloween themed Nike Air Presto releases with some more of those like spooky designs. And then you have a spider on the insole for those shoes as well. So these are both set to release next Thursday. But of course, you know, go ahead and pencil those in as well because that could get delayed. Now moving on to Jordan, nothing to recap, but we do have the Air Jordan 14 Retro Winterized releasing tomorrow, and these are clean. I kind of love the overall color scheme for these with the brown water resistant Nubuck upper. Then you have like the black outsole, then there's some flashes of like chili red all across the shoes. So I just think the overall, uh, overall these just have a nice looking flow to them. Although I don't really go crazy for the Jordan 14 model, but there isn't anything on the schedule for next week, but stay tuned because we are getting a little bit closer to the lineup for those all-star shoe releases. All right, so now for Adidas, the Yeezy 500 High Miss Stone dropped earlier this week, and I actually did grab a pair, but I definitely like the low version of the 500 model more than I like this high option, but I am still looking forward to checking these out in hand. But this weekend, we do have another release with the Yeezy Boost 700 Wash Orange, and that is scheduled to drop this Saturday. And I like this colorway and I like this model. You know, the Yeezy 350s will probably forever be my favorite model, but this is going to be kind of a close second. And the color scheme for these is almost like a cross between the Inflame Amber for the midsole, and then you got like almost a Wave Runner look for the upper. So I actually think these will look pretty tough in hand if I'm able to cop a pair. All right, so that wraps up this week's episode for the Sneak Peek. Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. A lot of options for Sneaker of the Week, but I did narrow it down to the Yeezy 700s, the Air Force One Halloweens, and the Winterized Jordan 14s. But... You know, I'm always here for the Halloween themed shoes, so I'm going to be rocking with the Air Force Ones this week. But let me know if you agree or what your favorite sneaker release is for this upcoming week in the comments below. But until next episode, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.